So you want to start marking up your Bible. I'm Chad Brooks. I make videos about the Bible, the spiritual life, and the everyday life of a pastor. And I love this conversation. I have this conversation a lot on like DMs on Twitter and face-to-face -face and all sorts of places like that. And I can tell from the downloads and the channel views that a lot of people are really curious about what this looks like. But the thing that you need to start marking up your Bible is a really good Bible kit. Now you want to get into talking about kits of any sort. I really, really love that conversation. So in this video, I'm going to go through what are the things you need to be thinking about as you build out your Bible kit and what I recommend. Now, regardless if you're Bible journaling or taking notes in your Bible or marking up your Bible or whatever a nomenclature you're choosing to use, we're really talking about the exact same group of things. We're talking about the things that you need to support the system that you develop and how you can get inside of your Bible and start doing a lot of work on it. Now, I've done a video before about the three first colors you might need in your Bible markup system, and I've gone through my system before as well, but let me break this down into what I think would cover 90% of what you want to do, regardless if you're a guy, a girl, if you're uh, uh, wanting to do a serious, serious study, if you're wanting to journal, anything like that, I feel like this covers 90% of the ground so let's walk through this. Number one, you need to think about your system and what your system is going to look like. If you've watched the channel for any time, you've seen the type of notes I take. I like to have a combination of highlights. I have some underlines. Then I also do some inductive Bible study inside of the text. And for me, what that really means is I've got three things that I have to have no matter what. I need highlighters, I need colored pens, and I need some sort of marking device. Now me, I kind of have a combination of both of these two types of markers. I've got the Zebra Midliner, whole, this whole idea. This is more of an aesthetic, as the kids call it. There's tons of different colors, and they can put off a very different tone of highlighting. And then I also augment it with just some cheap, these are Sharpies, but I've got you know other ones in front of me. Uh, this is a paper mate one, that sort of a thing. Um, these are like your these are like your school highlighters. They're pretty neon. They stand out, and the reason I like both of them is um, I just I had them when I first started. But then second, I find some tones and some colors, and sometimes they're just a lot easier to find in these sorts of things. Like I don't like the orange that comes through in the midliner uh, range, but it doesn't matter to you. And I, I use a lot of colors. I think my system right now, I have around, uh, I'm just going through my own bag right now to see all the different colors that I use inside of you know, my own markup strategy. And I think it's around, yeah, right now, unless I'm missing something from me, I've got, you know, I've got seven or eight. And so that fits for me. Then you also have the whole colored pins. Now, for me, I've got even more of those. For me, what differentiates, and I've got some Sharpie ones, I've got some of these uh, uh, Stadler, Stadler, however you pronounce it. I'm gonna have some Muji uh, pins in there, uh, that sort of thing. But for me, if I highlight something, that means I am making a note on it. And if I am just underlining with a color, you know, that's more of a thematic emphasis. Like for me, some of my colors mean uh, holiness, uh, sin, idolatry. I've gone through a phase before where I did a heavy, heavy markup on the book of Psalms. I did a video about that and I added some extra colors in uh, for taking refuge in God, um, finding stability inside of your relationship with God, that sort of stuff. I don't necessarily need to make a note. I just know I see that line that's made somehow and I realize, okay, Chad, I'm, I'm marking up this passage as it goes and this sort of thing. And then the last thing that you really need is you need a, a writing color. I just did a video a few weeks back on this pen right here. This is my favorite Bible markup pen. I think it's the best one that's out there. You can go watch that video. This is the Chingo highlighter. These are really cheap. These are around, I think, 9 or $10 for a pack of 12 on Amazon. There's Amazon links to all of these things in the description down below. Uh, these are affiliate links, but this just helps me kind of put more money back into the channel. And this is how I buy stuff to use to talk about Bible reading, but also just to review. When I do a Bible review, that sort of thing, that's what pays for. So it's a great way to support the channel, support what I do. The next thing I think is essential to your Bible reading kit 
are these. These are rulers. And I've had these rulers for ages. Uh, they're this one's kind of broken and cracked. And I like this because I do like make lines and I, I, I draw outlines around boxes sometimes uh, going all, all across a larger bit of text. For me, there is this vibe to a very, very well marked up page that I love a lot. And some of it's just personal preference, but I feel like if you wanna be neat in any sort of way, and I'm not really that neat of a person really ever with anything, uh, rulers are gonna help you take care of that. The last thing you need is you need some sort of bag to keep it in. I, I've got this one linked down below. Um, I like it because, you know, it zips. I can chuck it in uh, any bag I'm carrying that day. And it also does a pretty cool thing to where it has a magnetic clip that keeps the the tab open the next thing that you might need that i think is helpful is to have some sort of sticky notes uh, that are there and i keep a pack of these i get these again on amazon dirt cheap i actually have i think 250 of these delivered every four months because i also use these when i'm marking up books and every one of these colors means something when i'm marking a book up and so i'll have that or I'll have just kind of post-it notes floating around my desk. And if I'm traveling, I make sure I always have a couple different colors of post-it notes with me. Um, and so I, I keep those things in my bag as well. But also this is my, this is my old bag I used to use. It, it quit becoming big enough. This is a, uh, this was really cool. I found this at Walmart over a decade ago. And uh, you can play find Bigfoot in it. Bigfoot's hiding behind uh, some of these trees. And so it's just, that's a cool thing. Uh, but that's simple. That's what you need. That's how you build out a kit to help you as you mark up, journal, engage the scripture, and whatever you might do. So if you're curious about marking up your Bible, what I would encourage you to do is just to start doing it, to start playing it around, uh, grab these things. You probably have them floating around the house already. There's no need to go out and spend a bunch of money uh, doing this. Um, I find a book of the Bible or a, a specific project you might have. Um, I'll, I'll show you, this is the Bible I developed my Bible system in. Here, and I went and got this ESV journaling, note-taking New Testament, and I did this, and you can, I can go in there and see, I developed out my Bible system doing this very specific project. It probably took me six or eight months before I really began like hammering down what my system is. And so find a project, find a thing to do, find something you want to investigate. You might want to go into the Psalms or whatever to start developing the system out. That's why I love cheaper Bibles because you don't feel guilty about kind of destroying them. Now, uh, maybe I might would, but I, I have my whole one Bible a year where I swear by a particular Cambridge wide margin hardback. I call this Bible the Turkey Buzzard. Uh, I get a new one every single year. I've done this now for five or six years, and I swear by this process. But I'm going off too far into the, into the, into the weeds. That's what I think you need to develop a Bible marking system. So go and develop your own Bible marking system. Get the stuff you need. Grab a ruler. Grab a bag. Find a pen that works well for you and start marking up your Bible.